Inside this tiny little box is a tiny little motorcycle. In fact, the cheapest pocket rocket you could buy on Amazon right now. Inside that box is the most expensive pocket rocket you could buy on Amazon right now. Mine cost this much. His cost this, that much. You see what I did there? I, I don't actually know what they cost, but I just kind of, you know, a little bit of computer magic and... Good things come in little packages, all right? <laughs> yours is bigger than mine. Yeah, that's not as baby as yours. Shoot. Now, before we open these things up and figure out what, what we got here, I've always wanted a pocket rocket, but my dad said that they were not practical. No. What I said was, you're a 34-year-old man. You can do what you want. But do you really want to replace your family suburban with a pocket rocket? Yeah, let's uh, let's see what we got. So I'm not exactly sure, actually, if yours is the most expensive or if mine's the most expensive. Wouldn't it make sense that mine's the most expensive? Yours yeah. is bigger, but they're both pocket. I don't know. Yours looks like it's been through it, though. They, that definitely looks like that box has been kept in better shape. Where did your ship from? Mine ship from, where'd your ship from? Alta Loma, California. Wisconsin. Nothing good ever came out of Wisconsin. Or, mm -hmm. or California. All right, open that one up. Here's the choking hazard. Small parts. Yo, if Kershaw is watching this, send me some Kershaw knives for these unboxings. Oh. Hey! Oh, this is cool. Water jug? Premix. This is how, like, little kids' toys come in in packages. Yeah. <laughs> this is crazy. This is like Han Solo emerging from that. Look at the little kid stand. This is so sick! Your bike is awesome looking! I'm not gonna lie, I don't even know if I'm gonna fit on this thing. Man up and get on your tiny bike. This is so tiny! <laughs> Mine says no one on the age of 13 can ride it. Yet those are the only people that can fit on it. Yo, this is like a five-year-old. Mine doesn't have a kickstand. Dude, they're so tiny, man. This is crazy. He's just laying on the ground. I don't have a kickstand. What's the, look, look at it. The white frame is sick, though. Mine's, mine's once again pre-dropped. They make sure you, they crash test you before they give it to you. Now, this is the kind of thing I like to put together. Something that requires very little assembly. All right, check it out. Check it out. This is what I got in mind. <clears throat> Windshield. All right. Race kickstand. You got. I have a race kickstand. That's pretty cool. Because mine's more of a race bike than yours. It's kind of like a, you know, girl bike. Like a bike. <laughs> These are the pegs. Do your pegs fold in? Yeah, mine come like pre-folded. My pegs might be not fold in. Might get pretty sketch when I'm getting super low. My rear brake comes pretty locked up. Really? <laughs> it doesn't want to move. You have a lot more um, like components to put on. I'm really just came with like five different tools and a manual. Did you think these I were gonna be that small? In my life? Uh, I didn't know anything could be that small. <laughs> what tires are those? I got Lee Wang. What kind do you got? Lee Wang. Um, yeah. Lee Wang is top notch tire brand. I don't actually know. Mine are for racing purposes only. So normally when we put these things together, we have a lot of components. Like the four wheelers probably took like three or three hours to do. This might this might not take us more than uh, two and a half hours. Oh, you're pushing it now. Well, I think I'm done. I got a lot more stuff I gotta put I gotta put on. What do these go to? Yeah, I saw this bumper sticker that said, "No airbags. We die like men." <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of funny. I like that. I feel like if I had a spirit animal, it'd be that bumper sticker. <laughs> what are you working on right now? Just getting my handlebars tight. That's really all that came. Like, they came pre-folded in, but that was pretty much it. This is the kind of wrenching I like to do. I, I cannot get mine tight enough with this stupid little stamped steel wrench. I'm gonna make a dedication to only use the tools that it came with. Forget that, I'll get you have real tools. And as we've seen in the past, I'll have to go back and put Caleb's bike together for real. <laughs> or he'll just deal with the consequences. <laughs> I 
These are so small that if you rode a Grom after riding these, you'd feel like you're riding a gigantic bike. Oh shoot, that thing's stripped now. Uh, so we're only a couple minutes into this and I've already stripped the, the only bolt I tried to put on. It's a good start. Yeah. I feel like we've reached a new level of, of poor quality. Yes! Like this is horrible. Like, I can't, this one, I can't even get this bolt tightened. It's not even, there's nothing to it. But it's a double R though. Uh, what? What happened? The head just broke. This just shredded right off. Look, the piece I'm trying to screw into just snapped right off. So now I got to take this whole thing off. I got to get a new bolt to go inside there because I can't get this thing to uh, actually connect to it. It comes with a different Allen key size for some of the bolts, but it doesn't actually give you the Allen key to screw it in. So, outside tool being used. Tools I came with are junk, and they strip all the bolts. Oh my gosh. Yeah, mine's doing the same thing, actually. I'm sure the engine is top quality, though. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, this one's broken off. I'm going to see if I can get this one to work. We'll have to go buy some new hardware for this size. We'll, we'll, I'll put it together as much as I can and see what we'll make one trip to the hardware store. And, this bolt just does not want to tighten for the throttle. I don't know what the heck the deal is. It's just not tightening? Nope, it just won't move. But it's the throttle, so the minute you gotta pull the throttle. Yeah. On a lighter note, this is the cutest wind chill I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I also imagine that this could be a wind chill for like a very, a very little baby Adam. You would get for like your little tiny like three year old. What do you think it costs to make this? Like, Point zero 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 <laughs> cents. Cent. <laughs> that is the smallest chain I've ever seen. I've seen like pencil sharpeners with larger chains than that. My blender has a larger chain than that. That's so small. Yeah, check it out. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty awesome. What's your size? Your size doesn't even have exhaust. That? Yeah. That's a stupid pipe? Yeah, that's my exhaust. Looks like, like the frame just oh, cut off. Oh, what? It's in half. Uh, no, it's my pipe. It's a race pipe. Well, your dual exhaust is pretty cool looking. That's sweet, right? Yeah. Cool. Stop hovering your bike over top of mine. The kickstand's kind of a pain. All right, so I feel like my whole thing's basically put together except for the windshield. Except I have a handful of extra bolts and plates. Oh, you're like me from last video. But unlike you, I'm with solve this. Did it come with a manual? Uh, I'm a man, Harrison. <laughs> oh, maybe there's a screw for the belly pan. So I think what maybe happened before was I was putting the proper screw in the wrong place. And that's why it broke? Maybe. Or poor Chinese quality. In their most difficult endeavor yet, the guys from SRK try to put together little children's bikes. <laughs> We should have had a child doing this at the same rate and see if we put it together faster. That'd be a good idea. What are you looking for? Bolts. To swap out that? No, just for fun. Back to the drawing board. Back to the drawing board. All right, I thought I had extra bolts. Now I'm clearly missing bolts. I'm clearly missing like four bolts. Really? There's no way I lost. I stripped one, but there's no way I lost that many. Yo, your tire is so flat. You mind? Yeah. Maybe that's why I wouldn't know. Why is this taking so long for us to put these things together? Because like one little bolt can ruin the whole thing. They were practically completely together when we got them. So it's just putting together the belly pan. Actually, I don't know why I just didn't do this to put it together. I think I might have to zip tie this thing. Like actually? Like it won't stay together, man. This plastic is just so soft, it like, like, you just, it just, the bolt just eats through it in like two seconds. Oh, I realized what happened. This never was supposed to put a bolt on the other side of it, because the other side is threaded. I was just supposed to tighten this up. Uh, wait, then you'd still use that, couldn't you? Uh, if it fits. Dude, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to physically ride this thing. Without having a blast. <laughs> <laughs> Without having the best time of my life. <laughs> <laughs> we should put like full size like Jixer 1000s and R6s up on the website in these colors. And then when people come to check them out and take a first spin, we're like, get bikes out front. <laughs> and yeah. then it's this little thing. Dude, this would be great to like just ride around town. 
You could totally ride this on the sidewalk. Could you grab me a zip tie? Yeah. We can buy more bolts. But it's not the bolt, it's the actual throttle like housing. This is about the time when people start commenting. You guys own a dealership? <laughs> you can't even put together pocket bikes? I feel kind of bad tidying up the entire bike with a tool that's this small. I feel like this is the most perfect size for me. I gotta make sure I get the windshield put on just to, I don't, I don't wanna mess with the aerodynamics of this bike. Go man, it's just this stupid throttle. So you're absolutely not ready to go. So I'm not ready to go at all. A little surprise, ours doesn't have uh, headlights and taillights and brake lights and... I know. I mean, how are we gonna get seen? <laughs> the problem is the nut is spinning inside there. There's a problem, it's not even the right nut. That's the one that came with it. There must have been another one. It was just, it's just walking. There's no another one, it was already in there when I bought it, when we got it. <laughs> well, this is bad. Look, look at that. Just walking. It just out. walks on the thread. See, this is why mine's better than Caleb's. This goes on my fuel tank and releases out pressure and fuel when I'm doing like sick wheelies and getting super low. It just can't even do that stuff. Yeah, I don't need any of this stuff. Extra junk. I should to check my tire pressure. Where's my manual at? The mini pocket bike is a functional replica of a full-size motorcycle. It is not engineered to withstand the rigors of riding in the sand, mud, hilly terrain, or to be jumped. It is intended for use on paved flat surfaces by riders not exceeding 290 pounds. Whoa. Wow. This is made for some big boys. This bike is not intended to be used by minors without adult supervision. Blah, 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 boring. It doesn't tell you what the pressure is supposed to be though. That's awesome. Max tire pressure is 2.5 ATM. For racing purposes only, not for highway use. It's a sticky tire. What the heck is an ATM? All right, so ATM is atmospheric pressure. So one ATM is 14.6. I need to be two and a half, 2.5 times 14.6 equals 36.5 PSI? That sounds incredibly high. They're so little, they fill up like instantly. I bet this thing weighs 40 pounds. I just found out how much mine was, because I forgot. How much your, your pit bike was? You know how much yours was? Can I make a guess? Yeah. $250. I think it was like 400. Guess how much mine was? 750. Fifteen hundred dollars. No! But you have dual exhaust. Let me show you guys what fifteen hundred dollars in uh in pocket rocket gets you. Instead of Caleb's stupid kickstand, oh, a race kickstand. Get you a race kickstand. Instead of Caleb's uh flexible um, pegs, fixed pegs. Oh. So uh, that's pretty awesome. Is that actually awesome? No, it's probably worse to be I honest with you. Say. My tires are awesome. You have a kill switch, right? Yo, these shocks, these forks aren't even functional. It's a fixed fork. These are fixed forks, okay, okay. <laughs> that makes sense. That all makes sense. I wanna feel the gravel beneath Fixed me. fork. You would think this would be a pad, this is more like a piece of plastic. Mine's a 49cc, his is a 33cc. I think I paid an extra 1100 bucks for the white frame and the dual exhaust. Dual exhaust is sweet. It is cool looking though. Let's look at your stupid bike. Oh, chrome cover. Yeah. Feels a little cheap. Yeah, I asked for the Harley edition, so they gave me that one. This is a uh, model number GS001A. You have a VIN number on yours. Yeah, it's because they're street legal. Dang. All right, let's let's uh, let's get these things fired up. I gotta, I gotta put air in my tires. All right, go put air in your tires, man. We gotta, Gosh, we gotta get these things fired up. I'm dying to shred my bike. So if you're wondering, obviously this is a pocket bike, but if you wanna get a good comparison of what this looks like compared to a real bike, that's what a real bike looks like. So it says the ratio could be either 32 to one or 50 to one, but only 50, only 50 to one on race purposes and with very good lubricants. Ah, oh, dang it, my funnel's too big. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's going everywhere. 
Well, mine's filled up. You serious? I, I actually most most of mine fell on the ground, but whatever. <laughs> Yo. It's all over my tire. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I think it adds traction. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. My bad. How many pulls are you guessing for yours for yours to start? Six pulls. How many pulls for yours are you guessing? I'm guessing five before I realize that I did something wrong. Oh my gosh. That sounds mean, dude. Wrangle it. Wrangle it like a bun. There's no way! It's so loud! It's so loud! Yeah! <laughs> Were you holding the throttle? In? No, it kind of did it itself, I think. <laughs> I made it work though. That's so funny. That was crazy. You have a kill switch on yours? Yeah, right here, I thought. Is there a choke? Yeah, I pulled it up. Is it possible you're not pulling it like a man? Yeah! So much, so much quieter! That's awesome. Yo, I'm gonna send a picture to your mom. <laughs> I told you I'd get a pit bike, mom! Yo, yeah, mine's actually faster than what I feel comfortable driving in Crocs. Wait, seriously? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so what, you're just super slow? It's crazy slow. Check though. the, what, does it move freely? So the brakes are not holding it up. I don't think so. I mean, that moves pretty freaking freely. It's kind of bogging down a little bit. Yeah, it, it doesn't even... Go, take it up. It won't even move. I was trying to move it. Oh, really? That's full throttle. I don't know why, but it takes a little while to get up to speed. Yeah, it does. Let's, uh, let's get the radar gun. Okay. And then we'll uh, we'll come around there, get at full speed, and see what what speed up with speed what speed they're at. Okay. You going down, Kale? Go. You and your clown bike. Yo, at least mine has a real kickstand. Burn! Man. Oh, he's it up. What was your guess for how fast you went? Like eight miles an hour. Eight miles an hour. Okay, that was super low. What would you? What do you think you got? Thirty. Thirty. You got nineteen. Nineteen. Yeah. And now, what do you think you got? Forty. What do you think? I, I think he was probably like twenty-five. Thirty-six. Thirty-six. Yeah. You were way faster than me. Yeah, you were cooking, dude. You know what? There's only one thing we got to do. Uh. To really settle this the right way. We have to take, take it to the track. Guys, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time.